What's poppin' Queen Squad? It's your girl Angie and I'm back with another video so you can see my setup. I have my syringe with my pad pad already on. Um, the reason why, cause I had this already and I decided to make a video, but this is how the pad pad look. Um, you will take the scissors and you will just cut here and cut here, okay? Um, I have spatula. I have my base here and I got my oils and I'm going to use my one tubes. So first thing you do is ensure that your entire station is sanitized. Matter of fact, the first thing you should do is make sure that you have plastic or something on your table. Less work. Um, ensure that all your stuff is sanitized. Ensure your hands are washed. Put your gloves on. If you don't have one, um, because I didn't have one when I just started, but it's good to have an apron because once all the oil splashes on you or the lip gloss stays kind of stain your clothes and it doesn't come out, so it's good to have an apron. And I got my bonnet on, you guys can't see, but I got my bonnet on to cover my hair because my hair is braided. So the first thing I'm going to do is to let me take this out first, release this out. Y'all, when this is a new syringe, it's so hard. So I release this out because I'm going to fold it up. Put it here. But this is how, I'm not going to use this, so, but I'm showing you guys. That's how you would do it. You don't cut it too small, but just right, that size. And you cut it there. And then you just put it on. As you can see here. All right. Some people normally put the oil in the container first. I don't, because I don't want myself to be um, watery. So here guys, I'm going to add more of my lip gloss base to the container. And I don't know about anybody else, but this is so satisfying watching the base going into the container. Mm -mm -mm. I think that's enough so so now what I'm going to do I am going to add my oils so there are you will need to use a carrier oil so whether that be whether that be a coconut oil um sweet almond oil uh rose ship oil vitamin E whatever it is so I use two oils into my lip gloss base okay um be very careful of what oil you use do your research in this case i use two oils that i will not be putting out there okay and be mindful of the oil that you're going to use because it can change the color of your lip gloss so here i realized it after that i put too much of my second oil into my base which changed the color of my clear lip gloss So here I'm just mixing it around, just trying to blend in the oil into my lip gloss base. So you have to take your time to kind of mix around the base into the oil and then you work your way through it. I think I was talking to somebody on FaceTime. Yes, I was talking to somebody on FaceTime, so that's why I paused to hear what they were saying. So as you can see, all the oil is blended into my lip gloss base. Now I just got to mix it up entirely. So you mix and mix until you get this, um, this flow that I'm going to show you shortly. You need to get the consistency where the lip gloss base is literally falling off of your spatula. If it's not and it's too thick as if it gives a big drop, then that means you need to add more oil to the lip gloss base. You want to ensure that when you lift up your spatula, it literally flows nicely off of it. If you understand, I'm going to show you shortly what I mean. So I think I'm finished here. I'm going to show you what I meant. So there you go. This is the consistency that you want. Your lip gloss base has to fall off your spatula smoothly. It doesn't need a big drop. 
So now I'm going to add my flavoring oil, whatever your flavoring oil is. Would it be peach, strawberry, cherry, grape, whatever it is. You just drop a few drops and then you smell to see if it's enough because you don't, you don't want to overpower the lip gloss. So now I'm going to mix that in. And as you can see earlier, how my lip gloss base is, you know, moving is not as thick as the beginning. So if you're mixing and it's too thick and it's not falling off your spatula like this, just add a few more oil. That's it. So you see what I was talking about, um, that you have to be careful about the oil because the color of my lip gloss changed. It's okay. I mean, it's the same thing, same consistency as that one. It just not as the clear gloss. So now I am going to fill up my syringe with my lip gloss base. And also you will know um, when you need to add more oil. Even if you reach this um, step, you need to literally um, find it easy to put the lip gloss base in your syringe. So guys, as you can see, if you don't make lip gloss, you can see there's a lot of steps in making lip gloss. It's a long process, but it's fun to me. And when it's a new syringe, like y'all tell me about this. For those who make lip gloss, when it's a new syringe, it gives you so much trouble. Like, look at me fighting. God. So I am going to get my one tube and I'm going to fill up these. So I kind of made a lot because I filled up one tubes and squeeze tubes. So guys, you can either change your gloves or just wipe it off because you don't you want to make sure that you don't put a lot of oils on your tubes because trust me, you're going to have to wash those either way. But the less oil and the less base that's on the tubes, less work for you. This is so satisfying. Guys, try your best not to allow any bubbles to be in your lip gloss. Even if you see a bubble, just keep um, pushing in the base or the lip gloss so that you remove that bubble. I hate seeing bubbles in lip gloss. Because a lot of times when you're using the syringe and applying the, the lip gloss into the tubes, um, you literally release air. So that caused the bubbles. Just keep pushing it in until the bubble is gone. And guys, you don't have to go all the way to the top. Uh, reason being, when you're putting in the stopper for the tubes right you want to ensure that when you put in the applicator the brush right it goes straight on if you fill it all the way to the top so to say because they're not you're not robbing anybody but if you put it all the way to the top the stopper is not going to be able to stay in that's why it's going to keep pushing out so you see how easily i was able to put on my brush yeah but if you fill it up all the way to the top and then put a stopper and you try to put it in brush applicator, it's going to push it out. And then that's just going to be too messy. I've learned my lesson, guys. <laughs> so, guys, this is it. This is the last one. And this is how you make clear lip gloss. And this is how you fill up your tube. So now you wash it with some soap and bleach. Bye. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Love you. What's up, Queen Squad? 30 hertz straight up.